A very good morning to all of you. The problem statement that we are going to discuss today is very interesting and you will find this very important because this is a very common thing that everyone faces. So you see uh, that I have uh, written a couple of things here in this Excel file. Uh, so basically I am going to create a folder structure. So you will see that uh, I am uh, highlighting uh, these cells with different colors. And I've kept them in a separate uh, separate columns as well. So all the things, all the folders which are uh, there in column A, we can call it as master folders. And as we move on to further for uh, further further columns, uh, that means uh, those folders are child folders to their uh, parent. Okay. So for example, Brazil, Argentina, Portugal, Italy are child folders and they have a common folder they have a common parent called fifa red card kaka and ronaldino comes under brazil pepe teco and chao gi comes under portugal and same goes for cricket so there is a big list let's say i want to create all these uh, folders in uh, this order only so creating these manually is a hectic task so let's write a generic program for it so whenever we need such a directory structure we just need to make this excel and this program will do it automatically so to start with this i'm going to write a sub procedure and i'm going to call it as create folders now you see that uh, these are the folders that I'm going to create. So first of all, I'm taking backup of it because I'm uh, going to manipulate these uh, texts as well. So you see that uh, each uh, row has only one value and that value is for a particular folder, right? But a column can have multiple values because uh, one level of uh, folder can have multiple subfolders under it so I'm putting a loop for, uh, to iterate through all the rows in that Excel file so I'm starting with first row so for I equals 1 to uh, the last row in this Excel sheet so active sheet used range row count now I'm going to count the current column because I need to know which column has that value so for that I'll be going to last column and then I'll use control and left key it'll take me to the last column that is having value to write uh, it programmatically uh, or in form of VBA uh, I will be using range the last column name XFT and I and uh, dot end Excel to left dot column so this would be the column that will be uh, that uh, is having a value uh, now if this column value or, or if, if the the column number is 1 in that case i need to do a particular thing if it is not 1 in that case i need to do a, another, a different thing now why i'm putting this uh, if condition uh, so first of all i'm going to uh, dip, uh, declare a string uh, variable f path now because first column is always having parent uh, parent folder so if I'm on first column uh, I will uh, store a folder path as the same name that is in there uh, there in the Excel cell but if it is a, a subfolder or a sub subfolder in that case I need to create a folder inside its parent so for example Brazil need to be created under FIFA red cards Argentina also need to be create, created under FIFA red cards and for another level down Kaka and Ronaldinho need to be created under Brazil which comes under FIFA red cards so that is why I'm saying that when I'm on column 1 that means in column A create a folder directly in that parent whatever that is but if I'm on column B C D or whatever uh, level down I need to concatenate the parent folder and then a forward slash so that uh, 
uh, it creates uh, f uh, the f the folder in right uh, uh, path right in the right location so again for for another level down i need to put a name or folder of its previous parent rather than the master so now i'm removing all these now and i understand the logic i just need to put this thing in the else condition if column number is not one in that case give me the previous parent so for kaka and ronaldino i need the parent uh, brazil not red carpet so for that i'll be going le one level left and then its immediate top cell which is having value so for example uh, this ricardo gustavo have a common parent argentina so one sh uh, shift one column left and then move up whatever cell that is having value would be the parent so f path equals cells now i need to calculate uh, the the last uh, row which is having value in the previous column so for row number i will be using um, cells oops inside it cells uh, i comma xc minus one because i'm talking about previous column of current row dot n now i'm going to move uh, in upper direction wherever it finds the last value dot row give me that row number and the column number would be the previous column so xc minus one so and dot value so concatenate it with uh, forward slash so that uh, it makes the right path okay so uh, I'm concatenating the current uh, folder name in, uh, with it. So I comma xc dot value. So now we have the folder paths uh, to create the folder. Again, one more thing: when I am going downwards, I need to also uh, update the values in that cell so that the next child refers the right parent name if i don't update it in that excel file uh, the uh, the next children or the next child won't be able to get the correct parent path so i'm updating uh, that as and when i'm moving downwards so to create a folder very simple command make directory and then the path so i'm going to create all these folders under a uh, directory uh, that is placed in my desktop so c users my username the desktop and concatenate it with a path a path is the folder that i'm going to create and in case it finds any error because a folder while creating folder it may face error uh, like folder already exists or due to the name of the folder it may also it can give some errors like some type of special characters are not allowed kind of that stuff so for, for that i'm putting a, a error handling thing so on error resume next and if it faces that error uh, then clear that error and move to next statement i'm also uh, declaring uh, these integers x c and i that i've used now it is all done i can now run it and see if it creates right folders so I am running it it gives some error cells uh, uh, okay syntax error fine it should work now now if I take you to my desktop Oh, okay i didn't give the right path and that's why it created folders on the desktop so let me give the correct folder path i want to create folders inside this uh, c users and desktop and extreme excel folder so i just need to update this folder name extreme excel and that is it oh one more thing i forgot to uh, put a forward slash there 
Okay, yes. I need to put a forward forward slash here. So now if I run it, I see that it creates folders. Oops. Now it do not, uh, it didn't create the subfolders. The reason is, uh, I'm altering the cell values as well. So, because I ran it uh, multiple times, the values have been altered already. So that's why I took the backup. I will create, clear all this and delete the folders as well. And I'll copy this backup, replace it with the original values. Here. When I run it now, it gives me the right folder structure. And I can check it there. In XTMXL, I have cricket, IPL, RCB, Grayscale, Backpack, Test Cricket, Australia, India, and Pakistan. And I have correct folders for it as well. Same goes with the FIFA red card folder. So I have all the players' names under that. So that is it. Uh, if you find this video to, uh, useful, please like and share. Goodbye.